This tutorial is about batch globbing. Here I will show you how you can apply different types of field grip character for regular expression or uh, using with grip command. So first of all, uh, the symbol question mark. Question mark is used for a single match. Uh, if you use multiple times or three times or four times in the expression then it will search for uh, three character or four character if you see the example then it will be clear uh, first of all I will open a terminal and check the current Python folder of the current location and now if I want to use question mark uh, for this, um, uh, suppose I'm typing ls hyphen l and uh, I want the, all three characters uh, files from the current location. For that, I have to type three times question mark and uh, uh, suppose uh, the extension is bash. So you can uh, see all the file names are three characters. Uh, in the same way, in the example two, uh, if you know uh, some character of a file name but some characters are unknown but know the extension, in that case also you can use question mark. Uh, for this, uh, suppose uh, I know the first two characters of the file and I know the extension. For that I will type suppose I know the first character of the file, first two characters are ASP and the other four characters are unknown and the file extension is PY dot PY. Uh, you can see this P and uh, this three character and extension was PY. In this way, you can use a um, question mark for searching any files or folder. Next example is uh, asterisk symbol. Asterisk is used to match zero or more characters. Uh, if you don't know the exact number of uh, character of the file name, then you can use asterisk. Uh, for example, I will type ls hyphen l and uh, suppose I want all the file names of Python. So I will type the extension. So you can see these all are file of Python where the file name uh, is uh, can be any character long. And in case uh, if you don't know the extension but uh, know the uh, file name uh, or know some parts of the file name or starting character of the file name, L um, is star dot star. For this expression name, then uh, it will search all the file names start with this. But file name can be any length and extension can be any extension. In that case, you can see all the bash and python files are find out and every file is start with s. And this example is uh, like this. And uh, example 3 is a script uh, using uh, this uh, type of expression in a script. So, I will save uh, the file, here one dot bash. Here it will uh, read an uh, input value from the user and if the user type Y or yes, in or no, all will be accepted from this. This means small or capital Y and after Y it can be any character and then it will be in confirm and if I uh, if the user tab in capital N or a small N 
and after that any character then it will be not confirmed but if the user type anything without y or n then it will type try again so i will run this perform here bash w1 dot bash uh, suppose i am typing another character try again again i will type this script yes yes confirm i will type in not confirm i will type in o o o o and this is also not confirm now uh, the use of square bracket square bracket is uh, or third bracket is mainly used for defining the range uh, for example uh, here upper plus or uh, this indicate all capital letter from A to Z and in the same way lower and all small letter A to Z digit or 0 to 9 uh, alpha that means all capital and a small letter and uh, all num means all capital small and numeric suppose a less hyphen l and x third bracket x to z and star no files uh, exist here with this character if i type ls then you can uh, see this um, if i change the expression to w to z w to z then you can see one file uh, it find out one file w1 dot bash and uh, the example to if you want to find out in a numeric uh, uh, file uh, folder there is no file name with numeric data so it will not find anything no such file folder next symbol is cat carrot uh, we, we have mainly used with the grip command and uh, it has uh, two meaning when you use within the third bracket or at the uh, outside the third bracket to check this you can uh, create this sample file uh, suppose the file name is list of txt list dot txt okay now mm, uh, go for the command uh, here grip command is used to search any content from a file by using regular expression or multiple characters so if i type this vp hyphen q and the content of the file is like this so after this it will show uh, one content from here pair and if i type suppose a to d sorry a to d then it will uh, find out a and b apple and bananas okay now go for the next example if the care symbol is used inside the uh, bracket then how it works so in the same example if i add the carrot inside it then you can see all the content of the file are appeared here and uh, these two characters are highlighted for using carrot symbol inside the range and the next symbol is exclamatory sign uh, it's a uh, uh, work like carrot symbol uh, that carrot symbol when we use carrot symbol outside the third bracket uh, how it works uh, is similar to using exclamatory sign inside the third bracket so if i run this command 
then you can see it works like using third bracket out uh, using carriage symbol outside the third bracket in the example 2 it will serve the numeric data in the same way uh, if the file contains any numeric content okay and next symbol is dollar it indicating the end of the content so if a grip a dollar used with the grip command this means uh, on the lines that end with a there is a uh, one line that end with a that is banana so if i run the command then you can see the content is highlighted here and uh, suppose uh, i want those lines that are in with double zero so for this uh, you have to type double zero dollar then you can see these contents are highlighted and the next is curly bracket curly bracket is uh, used if you want to uh, add one or more than one uh, expression or pattern uh, to searching the content in example one here two patterns are used uh, what is main i will explain now uh, the first is uh, the file name will be uh, five character long an extension is sh or the file will be in with st and extension txt this type of file does not exist here one is exist that is list of txt so it find up but there is no file like this uh, but if i type is in place of sh bash then also no file exists and i add one more question mark and it does not exist uh, if i check it and there are four character long bash file names so this is lane one lane to lane three and uh, now check you can see case lane one lane to lane three and list uh, all these are find out by this two pattern and uh, next example is to remove any file using based on extension here if any file with doc or doc extension it will be removed i am not running this command now and next symbol is pipe pipe symbol um uh, is work uh, like uh, logical or um, if any file start with a and the extension is bash or sh it will find out the file of file name here so if i run this ls and uh, dot bash and a there is there any file start with a so i will there is no file start with a so i will change it to suppose u now you can see all file start with u are shown here and if i change the extension like this uh, suppose i have to have s here start with this and file name can be bash or pby in that case it will search all the python file and x bash file that start with s and in the example two now i'm using i uh, will call in the bash script like the previous example and this is the last example so i will create the script with this code um, save the file w2.bash and it will read an input from the user and if the input is 1 or s then it will 
uh, doing this here the use of pipe is shown here so I will run the script bash w2 dot bash and if I type one to show insert index if I type r showing the place index if I type three showing the reading text if I type d so it didn't so uh hair pipe symbol are working as logical R. So this uh, was the last example of this script. Hope this tutorial will help you to write regular expression or blending pattern properly in your bash script. Thank you.